In this series, we're going to look at the recommended way to install and develop with Laravel. And this is using VirtualBox, Vagrant, and Laravel Homestead, which you can see on my screen just here. Now, this might seem a little bit complicated at times, and you might have never heard of any of this software, uh, but it's actually pretty easy to get set up with. So we're going to be going through all these steps, and after you're done, uh, you'll be good to go forever. So first of all, what are VirtualBox and Vagrant? We'll take a quick look at what these are first, uh, because we kind of need to understand what these are to be able to develop with Laravel Homestead. You, I guess you don't need to, but it's a good idea too. So VirtualBox, which I have here, if you head over to virtualbox.org, uh, this is a hypervisor, uh, which is basically a piece of software that allows you to create virtual machines on your computer. So this means that whatever operating system you're using, whether it's Windows, Linux, OS X, uh, you can create a virtual machine that, for example, runs Linux and vice versa. So you can have an image, install that, and you can run a virtual machine, whatever operating system you're working on. And this is the first thing that we're going to install, uh, which we'll be doing just in a moment. So you might be wondering, why do I need a virtual machine when I can just install Apache, MySQL, PHP, and whatever else I need on my computer and just start developing? And that is a good question because most people are used to doing it this way. Now, the reason a virtual machine is so useful is because when you're eventually hosting your project, which I assume you will be, you're likely going to be running a server on Linux, meaning that while you're developing on your computer, you are going to be working with a system as close as possible to what you eventually will have uh, on your hosting environment uh, if you use something like a virtual machine. So this basically means that you're going to have less problems when you go live. It's just going to be much simpler. You're not going to see errors that you didn't expect, etc. So let's move on to Vagrant. So think of Vagrant as a helper. Uh, and this basically lets us, using VirtualBox, easily create virtual machines because we're not going to be directly creating virtual machines through virtual virtual box we're going to be using um, vagrant to help us so laravel homestead uses vagrant to create a virtual machine uh, so we will need to install laravel homestead uh, too but think of laravel homestead as just a predefined environment and this makes it as easy as possible even more easy than just using vagrant on its own to set everything up now, you might be thinking, do I really have to install all of this software? Well, because Vagrant allows you to easily manage your uh, virtual machines and Laravel Homestead makes it even easier to set up uh, different domains for different projects locally uh, and basically comes bundled with a huge amount of software. This will make your life a lot easier uh, when you have to start configuring your virtual machines and starting and stopping them and stuff. And it's all made lots easier with Homestead. So if you're still not entirely convinced or you're still not sure, it's a good idea to just give this a go and it will kind of transform the way you start developing. It really does make a massive difference. It's like anything until you actually try something, uh, you kind of don't think you can live without it, but when you do, you couldn't possibly live without it. So you're going to need to install VirtualBox and Vagrant. So I'll let you go ahead and do this yourself because it's different for different operating systems. Here we're specifically focusing on doing this on OS X, on a Mac. Um, but if you're using another operating system, it'll work slightly, well, more or less the same, but slightly different. So go ahead and install VirtualBox and Vagrant. Uh, if you do have any problems, a quick uh, search with your favorite search engine uh, should basically turn up any common problems you might get along the way installing these. And once you have installed both VirtualBox and Vagrant, we'll take a look at exactly what Laravel Homestead is and how we install and work with it. 